Guys, can you believe Mario? He's supposed to be looking for Professor Franklin, and he just fell asleep. Mario, wake up. Huh? Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Comic Kathy here with more Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. In the last part, we saved Goombella. And she's going to prove to be a very fun and valuable partner. And I actually mean that legitimately. Uh, in this part, we have to continue east to find Professor Franklin. We didn't actually end up finding him in the last part. Gee, wonder which house is his. Go around the walls here. Hehehe, <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today. I'm making tons of loot. Someone started telling me, so I came here to hide for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll bonk you! Like that. Oh, so I can't break the bottles? Oh, hello. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like them places. I'm done talking to you now. Cool, the things that you can actually interact with here. But more importantly, we get another star piece. Gonna need lots of star pieces. Hey, you big rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might be go wild and attack. Be careful. Live longer. Hmm. Wonder which house is his. Hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now, you, uh. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me. Silence! I'll get it. Um, it's not Goombrell. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? <laughs> you were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go Goombas! Really? You guys have a college. I wonder what kind of healthcare you guys have, what with, uh, me. Of course I remember you. <laughs> not, not to toot my own heart, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, used to get in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. That guy behind you is... Ooh! Mario! Professor, he's Mario, you know? The famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a book when I... I haven't a clue what's hip right now. In any case, I'll sort of... What sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? I'm hoping you tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, would you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you types want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that mostly say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me? I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist. I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll, co I'll cooperate with you however I can. As well, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to define the truth among them. Blech. But all agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? Find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. It's poor rhyme. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that solid it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find a legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Oh hey, I researched some of what was written behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magic macro lock before the entrance of the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. Everyone just likes rhyming, apparently. 
The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the name St. Crystal Stars you mentioned? It must be, and we're in luck. It seems a thousand year doors are located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have a professor, or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. Really? You, you actually have it. Can I just, just take a look at it? If you don't mind. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! Here you go. You, son, are my hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful even! With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up to the thousand year door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Gumbella, Mario, let's take the magical map to the thousand year door! Off we must go! This instant, I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town! Interesting little house. Nothing really hidden in here, though. You have a waste packet we can check. But you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down to the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there's quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like practice the, the action plans? No, actually, we're good. Really? A master, are you? Maybe I'll practice just once. Nope. Fold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your opponent attacks, match what's shown on the screen. And guarding per se at the same time as your opponent attacks, if you can remember that, you'll be fine. As you saw from yesterday, I'm good. Right. Now, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and press A to enter. Nothing around there. Oh, cool, you actually go down in the pipe a little bit. Save our game. Now, first things first, though, we are going this way. Yep, you're down there. Eventually, you're going to pop up here. I need star pieces for when you do. This is the only house on this side we can go through, and it's someone who will tell us our path. Ah ha Welcome, Mario. If you wish for me to use my divine skills to find what you seek, speak to me across the table. That's a fortune teller, Moo Lovely. She's kind of mysterious, as you'd expect. She defines location of things or where we should go. People say she's always right. People say all kinds of secrets are hiding under her veil. I get, so I guess the veil is working as intended. Basically, you don't know where to go? She'll tell you. Right, now I forget if we have to go all the way to the door or just down and back here. All the way down to the door and then that little guy will move. Hey, hey, man, what's up? You think it's cool to waltz your way into our underground? Typical. Your stuff is all snarled with snow suck up. Ew, I get to see the sun. I get to bring clean air. Ew. Yeah, hey, hey. Come over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. He's all alone. Can't you academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here. Because it's. Stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What are you gonna... What, you're too good for a fight? You ain't looking to tussle. 
then stay out of the sewers. Nobody starts a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. Goomba, Smikey Goomba, and a Panda Goomba. Hi, the whole Goomba family tree. What I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the Spiky Goomba. Said Spike on said, we'll jump on that and you'll be the one who takes damage. The pair of Goombas airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You have to jump to hit him. See what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. Be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking them and blocking. Now get to it. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goomba. Don't forget that. I'll just be over here watching you from a distance. Good luck! There we go. Uh, that's a Goomba. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. Says here, Goombas are underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. Max 22, two, attack power one, defense is zero. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. Spike-headed Goomba. What a creative name. Maximum HP 2, attack is 2, defense is 0. Guess that Spike helped boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. The addition of the Spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Double stylish. Paragoomba, basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP 2, attack 1, defense 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. It loses wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. And 10 star points. The best part is, once you tattle on an enemy, you can always see their hit points. Yow! Ha! Huh, later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty... Uh, there are plenty more of where they came from. Let's have at it. When they attack, try to hammer or jump them while on the field. Attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thwomp them as you go into battle. That's the plan. Anyway, uh, as you can see, they're always going to teleport me to me, so I don't need to be as cautious with uh, any of these escort kind of things. Now, that it is. Okay, never mind. There is no downside. It used to be you uh, just when you attack, you don't get an action point; you just do a set damage. We're opening up our pause menu. I'm seeing if I can turn something off. No, apparently. Okay, looks like we're doing it. But yeah, basically what we're trying to do Let's fill up this, the tattle log. The tattle log has 334 creatures that I need to tattle on with Goombella. And we so far have three. I 
And you can hammer the ones in the end. You just have to wait for them to come down to you. Now, why am I doing all these extra jumps? It's because those are extra stylish points that will come in handy as the game goes on. So this is more so a case of I'm getting my training in now. because we haven't really seen her do it yet. Her stylus is harder to hit. Never really learned the timing for it. I think it's when she lands after doing the head bonk. Awesome. Green mushroom. We'll take it. You got the item. Use it. going. Break big blocks with hammer. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Yeah, those things are fast. On the plus side. Yeah. I told you a weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max AP 3, attack 1, defense 0. The attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee points to get that level up. See, that block is too big for us to break with our hammer. Oh, wait, but that does remind me. There's a star piece back there. I wonder what that little guy was all about. Oh, a key. her stylish command all that easily. Never had. Never had. You see block, you hit block. It is the Mario way. Alright, so that key is probably important, right? Let's grab it first. A strange black key. Walk around. Alright. So this is the only way we can go. Let's go this way. Ooh. A treasure chest. Hey, you. Can you hear me? You can? I must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else? Nothing. 
See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, who brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Ma, yeah? A word with you? I'm not exactly confident we can trust this, uh, chest. It may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, that's right. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you? Now, you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. I'm not sure how this chest guy would know anything about the crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to finding that key. It's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on. Being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank. Ha! Thank nothing! Weehee! Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little bit of the suffering I endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Boogly woogly woo, you're cursed! Whee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about my sweet little curse I just dropped? Listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain places, you'll turn into a paper airplane! <laughs> Trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. Curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? Send on a paper airplane panel like this one. The floor will start to glow. Yeah, just like that. And when you're on the panel, press Y, and then BAM, you're on a paper airplane. You control your tiny plane by tilting left, back, and forward. The plane will rise if you tilt left, direct on the left. The plane will rise if you tilt in the other way. But if you tilt forward, you'll lose all your speed, so you gotta figure it out. Once you start to rise, stop tilting. Timing is key. Try it now. When you had enough paper airplane, shame. Press B to deplane and get back to normal. So be honest. Do you fully understand the perils of this curse has bestowed upon you? Farewell, you foolish fool! <laughs> Just wow, what was that guy's beef? Anyway, we need to do that to continue on with the adventure. <laughs> He also didn't mention it, but if you just hit a wall, it'll turn back. Oh, Mario Goombella, look at that! Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real! The legends are all true. Come, let's move closer.
stand on the pedestal to activate all of the things. The pedestal only activates because I have the magical map. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Professor, the map! And what was with all those strange lights? Huh! This looks like information related to the crystal star! And that shining light looks as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Perf, I see. Aha. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is this map is truly astounding. Somehow this map functions as a radar. It shows us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is in a place found there. Yeah. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Metals. Petal Petal Metals? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. Tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time and time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anyone know what, how to get there or what? Well, I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to pedal metals. If you just find that, you'll get that instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Sad, sad, by the way, Mario. I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? That's Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? Oh, yeah. So it is her! The princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal swords and my suspicions about Petal Metals. Doesn't seem like it, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Metals on her own. You know, Professor, there was a suspicious group asking about the same thing. Huh. Can't imagine Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Metals, you two go. Princess Peach indeed went there. Her, your first priority must be to catch up with her. Like the Crystal Stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach! Aren't you coming, Professor? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No way! I'll stay around town and ask about Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best! Now then, allow me to give both of you a proper farewell. Ah, oh, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. I might reckon anything, Mario can perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it will. Stuff like this is better explained in example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No. This is very important. Better listen, I mean it! No. Huh, you're absolutely sure. Alright, well just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Dangerous, go alone. Take this. And we get our first ever badge. Called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what effects will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping? No. 
Are you absolutely sure this is the last time I ask? <laughs> no, I know how to do it. I see, then just remember this one part of me. Let's put badges for them to take effect. By the way, you need flower points to use the smash move. Val, you better watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you can find a pipe to pedal metals. So what he was going to do is we have over here badges. And as you can see on the left, we have badge points. Three badge points are all that we have. And this badge only requires one if you look at the right side. So boop. Now we're down to two more badge points. And we're good. Hey there, kid. You got a minute to learn what it means to fight. Like to fight with your whole heart. Oh, your brim with potential, kid. There's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, hitting it big, there's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got a question, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me a, the Battle Master, and I don't stop them, but I could with fighting. Anywho, I got a great life. Traveling, training, uh, some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holler. Okay. I don't actually remember the Battle Master. I think he might be a new guy. Let's see if he moved. He did. Good. This guy up here is someone that we definitely need. My name is Dazzle and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So guy, I have star pieces. Trade them for my badges, okay? Yay. Which badge do you want to trade for? Alright, we have five. Which isn't enough for the quick change. We need three more for that. What we're going to grab is the Chill Out Badge. Which means we'll never succumb to a first strike. That's the only one we're going to grab right now. And then we got to save up five more for Quick Change. Because Quick Change is a necessary badge to play the game. Yep, we'll trade again someday. But chill out, never succumbing to first strike, means that we can try attacking things with no problems. But that's what we're going to call it for today's episode. We got to the Thousand Year Door, we got Cursed, and we also got brand new badges. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.